I woke up, but I couldn't move. Um, my leg was, it looked like a big log, like a wooden log, and I kept trying to grab it, and I couldn't grab it. It didn't register with me right away, as it, as it should have, but it didn't. And then all of a sudden I said, I'm getting the ambulance, that's it. Catherine actually arrived, so she was unable to understand anything that anyone was saying, and also was unable to speak any intelligible words. In addition to that, she had lost use of her right upper extremity, uh, her dominant arm, as well as her right lower extremity. So the right arm and the leg were paralyzed and her language capacity was lost. Here at the University of Florida Health, uh, the way we've been treating acute stroke patients is to uh, not go by the, time, the traditional timeline used at most centers, uh, but rather to use state-of-the-art imaging that demonstrates to us whether there's parts of the brain that we can save. Her case was particularly complicated for, uh, for a variety of reasons. And even though we did not know when the stroke onset was for Ms. Flanagan, in reviewing this imaging in totality, I was able to make the prediction that she had a great deal of brain that was still alive that just needed to have the blood restored to it. And we had to rely on some highly specialized treatment options that we have at UF Health, including an endovascular approach. When I got to the operating room, the one thing that really stuck in my mind was I looked in there as we were going through the door, and I looked in there, they're, they're ready to rock and roll. We took her emergently to the angiography suite and then deployed a stent type device called a stent retriever to open up the artery. Uh, once we had opened up the artery and established blood flow to the brain that had been starving for oxygen and blood, we then captured that blood clot that had blocked the artery with the stent device. Dr. Waters came in and he got the films up and he was showing, showing me uh, what the before and after shots were and explained to me, well, the red is bad and here you can see all this blood going in the vein or the arteries. Miss Flanagan's outcome was so remarkable that she actually spent a very short time in the hospital. Um, within 24 hours of her presentation, she was almost back to normal. I never thought I would have a, a stroke of any sort, any kind. I, I just thought I was so strong, so healthy, and that this would never hit me. There is um, uh, no center that I can think of in the United States or even the world that provides uh, options for patients that we don't have right here. And it's important to me that we do the very best that we can in every instance for every stroke uh, patient. I'm most thankful she's here. You know, everything is back to normal. Matter of fact, she feels, she feels better now than she did before. <laughs>